In real estate, there's never a dull moment, and today is no different. Let's go and see what the day holds. And the first stop of the day, got to go pick up some earnest money for a commercial property that I sold yesterday, and that will hopefully close by the end of the year because they are ready to go. And the things that are gonna happen on that property, I cannot wait to share with you guys. You're gonna love it. So Old Shell Road, Hillcrest Road, this is the heart of uh, a lot of traffic for South Alabama. Now, the University of South Alabama, I would call it a major university. And um, I've, I've lived here all my life. I've always heard about South Alabama, South Alabama this, that, and the other. Well, the problem is, in the past, South hasn't had this kind of reputation where people you know, from all around the country, you're like, oh, I can't wait to go to University of South Alabama. Um, but that is changing. And it's sad, but if you live in the South, people are such fanatics about sports. And what South Alabama has done is in the last year, they have built a major stadium. And up here is the uh, light access to the stadium. And let me tell you, there's a massive buzz around the city of Mobile because of the stadium, uh, football, uh, it's just going to be an incredible thing. I believe the Senior Bowl is going to be held there. But a lot of great things are happening at the University of South Alabama because of the brand new stadium. I have not been, but that will happen this next year, and I'll do a video on it. All right, so in my hand is an earnest money check for this property, commercial property. I've had it listed for a few months. Got my sign there. The bad news is, I'm gonna have to take that sign down in less than a month. Uh, it's been a great uh, source of uh, advertising. I'm very, very thankful for that. But the good news is I just got the green light to list an entire subdivision with 15 properties. So that sign uh, will probably be used in some capacity, although I'm gonna get a whole new set of signs made. But the good news is with signs, as long as you don't print specifics on it, it's never wasted. So I'm sad to see it go, but happy to see it sold. Making a right on Fire Tower Road. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I gotta check on my signs because in the past there has been some theft and I do not wanna have theft on my signs. So you gotta keep that in check. The bad news about being a real estate agent is oftentimes your trunk becomes a mess because you have to have everything with you at all times. So we're looking for my rubber mallet, and hopefully it's in here. Oh yes, score. Now if you look here, I am just thankful that the sign is still here. It survived the hurricane, and uh, we're gonna put a little uh, muscle into it, and maybe it will last until it sells, which should be very soon. Oh, my sign is filthy. Look at all that rain, all right. Okay, if that sign falls down after doing all that, we got bigger issues. So one thing I noticed about this sign is you can tell which direction the wind was blowing, obviously this way, but it survived the hurricane, so that's a good thing. So now I'm gonna try to bend this back and see if we can still salvage this stand. Uh, that ought to do it. All right, let's try and make this happen. There's an art form, you gotta put just the right amount of pressure. I've broken so many of these signs and hopefully I don't do that again. So let's bend it a little bit more. There you go. All right, let's check on this. Had to kill an ant. That ant made me look like I had acne. That's not good. All right, I think we're in good shape. Now, we're gonna walk the property a little bit and uh, catch some video so I can share on social media. All right, do a little Instagram story here. All right, so I'm walking on some land out in Sims. It is almost 15 acres. I'm walking on some land out in Sims. It is all. So we post that and then do it again to Twitter, to Facebook, LinkedIn, Got to cover all the bases. It is absolutely beautiful. 
So one of the things that I've learned about you know, listing land and trying to get your property sold is you have to remove a lot of the uh, stumbling blocks. So for example, uh, the sellers, uh, I talked to them about clearing a portion so that you could walk the land. The reason they uh, did that, and I'm so thankful they did, is because people who are interested in buying property, if you can't access it and you can't walk it and you can't catch a vision for what it will look like, then oftentimes they're just gonna drive by and then they're gonna get lost in the trees and they're not even gonna stop or get out and walk it. They're just gonna pass by because they can't see it. But if you give a pathway, uh, open it up, then it allows them to do that. Now that, I will tell you, is the number one thing you need to do to sell a piece of land. And it only costs a few hundred bucks. All right, so we are about to take a little break. I'm gonna pull in uh, to Yellowhammer Coffee and uh, get a treat, as uh, my kids like to call it. But uh, my favorite coffee place in Mobile, they're actually so popular that they were able to put a trailer in a parking lot of a church and do crazy business just in the trailer. I love it. Yellowhammer coffee for the win. So I was just told that my videographer has never had coffee before. We got to do something about that. Okay, now does that have coffee in it? The mint chip, it is not. It is not. Okay, so you're still not getting coffee today, man. <laughs> what are we doing? All right. <laughs> All right, appreciate it. Of course. I love this. The mocha frappuccino. Goodness in a cup. You know, I bring him the yellow hammer to get coffee and he still doesn't get coffee. But he got, what is this, a mint java chip? Okay, we'll see. We'll see what it's like when he tastes it for the first time. All right. What you got there? Oh yeah. Awesome. I love mint. Mint is good. Yellow hammer for the win. <laughs> and now we're pulling into Deer Crest in West Mobile. It's an amazing uh, new development, lots of land available, and I've got two lots listed. Uh, flat lots ready to build, and I am actually super excited. If you look over here on the right, you'll see um, right by this green box, I just sold both of these parcels of land about a month ago. And it just got cleared and they're getting ready to start building. So great things are coming to Deercrest in West Mobile. So I'm standing out here in Deercrest um, and I try to get out here as much as possible. Got to check on the signs and you know typically I don't put three signs on one section that I'm selling but the reason I did that is because you know sometimes it's difficult for people to visualize exactly where the property line is so basically You've got the property line, which is by that sign. You go all the way down here and the property line is by the other one down there. So you've got about 135 feet wide and it goes back over 600 feet. It's 2.36 acres. See the sign right here? 2.36 acres right there. It says it in red and white. Uh, but this, the thing that sets this parcel apart is it's flat. I mean, it's ready to build, it's practically cleared, just, you know, need some mulching and you're good to go. Very few lots available in phase two, but I've got two of them listed and I do not think this will last long because look at the house across the street. Talk about property value, that house is a beast. And then you've got another house over here being built, which is super nice, you've got another one here. It's 2,000 square foot minimum right here in Deercrest. All right, so, uh, one of my favorite parts of being a real estate agent is that I get to help people kind of find and get connected with different vendors. So recently, let me see, I don't want to die here, going through this traffic circle. Uh, recently I listed a house that needed some work done on their shower and they needed to have the cultured marble replaced. So one of the contractors recommended another contractor and we were able to uh, connect the two and uh, he gave me a whole bunch of samples. So I gave them the samples. Well, I've been carrying around these samples in my car for like two weeks. So today, let me find the address. I'm going to drop off the samples and uh, return them to the shower guy or the tile guy. So that's part of what I do every day. It's something different. All right. How you doing? All right. So 
I'm all about, you know, for sale by owners, if they want to sell their house themselves and they can do it, that's great. But if you're going to do it, when you put out a sign, at least have it to be legible uh, with a phone number on it, directions, details, whatever. That has to be one of my top five worst FISBO signs I've ever seen. So when I get a little more time, I will run down there and see if I can help those folks, help them get a better sign, hopefully a sign that says Jeff Jones on it. That would be great. But wrapping up the day, it's been crazy busy. I've done more than I uh, thought I had scheduled today, which is a good thing, but pulling into Keller Williams here, gonna wrap up some paperwork and just got a new listing for an entire subdivision with about 15 lots on it. So the paperwork ahead of me will be massive, but I'm looking forward to that and I'm excited to represent the sellers and hopefully get their property sold and uh, down the road. All right, so drop the earnest money off, head back into the office, do some paperwork and then head to the house. And that's it, vlog number five. Hey, thank you guys so much. And don't forget to like and subscribe, but also leave a comment. And the comment I want you to ask is this, what is the one thing you've always wanted to know about the city of Mobile? And I'll answer it. And if I don't know the answer, I will find out the answer for you. And it may be in a video coming up. So don't forget, like and subscribe. And thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned next time for vlog number six.